Up next, the price of cheap solar. Hi, I'm David Green from Tejo, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable content. Now, we talk to people every single day that have been quoted scary low prices to have solar systems slapped up on their roof. We know, we get it. Who doesn't like cheap stuff? We too are a sucker for a bargain, but this isn't a $1 cheeseburger or something off the penny pinches menu. This is a solar system that is going on the roof of your home for the foreseeable future. Today, we're going to cover off the how and why these systems are so cheap so you can make the right decision before it's too late. Now this video is a big one, so we wanted to make it as comprehensive as possible to help you make the right call. So we're going to share the filming responsibilities around a little bit. This filming business is hard work. Now, where everyone always starts, Google, or maybe Yahoo, Bing, or DuckDuckGo, if you like sticking it to the man. A quick search and within seconds, your search engine in social media seems to be flooded with offers for cheap solar systems. If there is one truth in solar, it's that you get what you pay for. Purchasing a cheap solar system isn't going to magically perform like a more expensive system. A cheap solar system is going to perform like a cheap solar system with a very likely chance it will fail within five years or less. A mid-range solar system is expected to perform like a mid-range system and a top tier system will perform like a top tier solar system. Crazy concept, right? It's well documented that cheap solar is an issue. Just have a quick Google and give the search solar fires a crack and see what you find out. We're going to explore some of the key themes we have seen over the years that we believe are red flags when you are looking at a solar company. That way, when you see them for yourself, you can turn around and run really, really fast. Aussie owned, with no presence in Australia, many of these cheap solar companies love to go on about how they are Aussie owned. Our first question is, why wouldn't it be Aussie owned? Well, it turns out that it's not really. Starting with a phone call, you will very quickly realize you're speaking with an overseas call center. You'll speak to someone with a name like Mike Cairns, who lives in Sydney, or Melbourne, or Brisbane, or wherever you said you live. The reality is the majority of these businesses are based overseas using an Australian virtual address. A virtual address is an address you can pay to use to give your business credibility and a premium location. If you still aren't sure that you're speaking with an overseas call center, make a trip down to their office and see for yourself. No one is home. If you were to dare proceed with a purchase from such a company, you'll also realize very quickly their operations team run extremely slim and are also overseas. Or everyone has the same name. It's the same person for those who don't get what we're saying. Image, what they do to look good. Cheap solar companies are very conscious of their image. The first thing most consumers do before purchasing a product is check out the business's reviews. Unfortunately, we live in a world where fake reviews are all too common. If you read through the reviews, you'll find and notice they seem to be written in a very similar fashion, using very similar wording, and all seem to be from a reviewer who has only left one review for their one solar company that they're reviewing on this occasion. Bit funny. We have also noticed a massive rise in celebrity endorsements. Celebrities are paid to endorse things. Don't use it as a benchmark of quality. Doesn't mean anything. For example, we aren't very good at cricket and we don't expect a world-class cricket player to know much about solar. So why be credible when you can just buy it? Hello, 
Yeah, just one solar system, thanks. It's all over the phone. While we can appreciate technology can do wonderful things, we still aren't convinced the entire sales process for each and every customer is best done over the phone. When it comes to the cable run, where to put the inverter, the pitch of the roof, and how the panels will be fixed to the roof and other site specific variables. When it's done over the phone, it's all guesswork. At Teho, we love to use technology and we love the phone. However, with simple little extras like video calls, remote jobs can go from guesswork to great work. Why don't you ask Mike Cairns to do a video call and that way you can sort out some of the finer details of your installation. They sell packages. Solar is a solution based product. Each home is different in size, each home is different in site specific requirements and each home uses electricity differently. So why is everyone trying to sell me their premium tier 1 6.6 kilowatt super mega amazing solar package? It's because it's easy to bash out 6.6 kilowatt sales at the lowest price with the maximum rebate. Will it fit on your roof? Who knows? Will it suit your family needs? Who knows? Who cares? At Tejo, we don't believe in off-the-shelf packages. We believe in finding the best solution for our customers and we share this belief with other industry professionals who intend to provide their customer base with the best possible solution, not the easiest possible solution. It pays to get the right solution. When it comes to packages, our favourite cricket shot is the leaf. They all seem to have the same website designer. How strange! When cruising around solar websites who offer cheap solar system, their websites seem to be extremely similar, sometimes identical. This is because there is a very strong chance you're looking at the same company with just a different name. Solar businesses are notorious for setting up multiple solar companies and running the same business model. It's a good way to increase market share and spread liabilities. By liabilities, we mean getting ready to close one down after the warranty claims start to roll in and carry on bashing out 6.6 kilowatt solar systems with another business. The question we get every day is how do these solar companies offer such ridiculously low prices? Well, let us explain. Firstly, there is a sea of cheap products. Cheap solar panels. Cheap solar panels are cheap for a reason. They manufacture enormous amounts of low cost solar panels and also use cell manufacturing partners who help create cheap cells to use in their panels. Price low, quality assurance even lower. Cheap solar panels have issues with water ingress, hot spots, browning and all sorts of mess. Cheap solar panels aren't going to last 25 years in the Australian sun. We're generally impressed if they last five. Cheap inverters. A solar inverter works by pulling the electricity from the solar panels, which is direct current, and converts it into alternating current. The solar inverter is the brains of the operation. Without the inverter, the system is useless. Low quality inverters are cheaper than the price of my mobile phone which is extremely concerning considering it's meant to last for a very long time. My phone doesn't even seem to last more than eight months. <sighs> cheap solar inverters are poorly designed and manufactured with cheap materials. Cheap racking. One of the most overlooked pieces of equipment when it comes to the solar installation is the racking or mounting system. In Australia, the Clean Energy Council has a list of racking systems which are suitable to be installed on homes. The truth is, it's a product that's impossible to prove which manufacturer it's come from, which means it's normally not an approved or appropriate solution for a solar installation. Plus, who is going to check anyway? When something is physically mounted to your roof with no intention for it to be removed, you want it to be good quality. Roof leaks, rust and wear is all too common with cheap, crappy solar systems. 
Now we have covered the cheap products. Next up is cheap business practices. Bait and switch. Unfortunately, the most common practice we see when it comes to cheap solar is advertising a well-known brand panel and inverter. Then when it comes to date of installation, you'll get an email suggested they have upgraded you to a new on the market solar panel and inverter system, which you've never heard of. This is a not so nice way of dragging consumers into making a purchase with such low prices and great products. What ends up getting installed on your roof is something completely different and actually worth what you pay. Installation and labor. Homeowners who have had electrical or plumbing work done on their home will be very aware of the costs of labor. A qualified electrician will generally charge a minimum of 70 to $90 per hour to carry out their work, and rightfully so. When it comes to solar, a solar installation business will normally have three to four people on site working on a 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar installation to have it completed in one day. The installation will take around seven hours and about one extra hour for travel time in the morning to pick up stock. Eight hours of work for four people. Let's say two are electricians and two are roofers charging on average $65 per hour. That's four times $65, which is $2,080 plus John Howard's favorite tax. The cost of labor is paid to ensure good labor is carried out. If your system is fully installed and only costing around two grand, you have to ask yourself, how? Cheaper solar businesses will hire one accredited electrician who is by law able to sign off on two jobs per day. These two jobs are carried out by underqualified, underpaid workers who will be paid very little and produce very little when it comes to quality. The electrician will then sweep through and sign off both jobs and move on. Now it's not all doom and gloom. While there are lots of dodgy operators, there are just as many good quality retailers and installers who pride themselves on good quality work and products. Unfortunately, cheaper businesses just seem to make the most noise. Paying more for solar will cost you less. The fact of the matter is, spending more on a solar system, within reason, relative to a cheap crappy solar system will cost less in the long run. A good quality solar system installed with good quality labor is expected to last on your roof for 25 years. Keep in mind, the inverter might need to be replaced after 10 years for a good inverter rather than three years with a cheap quality system. The cost of spending more upfront is cheaper in the long run. With so many easy to access solar payment plans on the market, getting the right system may only cost you a few extra dollars a month over five years. Making the decision to get a better system is a simple one. What cheap solar versus good quality solar will actually cost. A cheap solar system with cheap quality parts and labor will cost around $400 to $500 per kilowatt of solar installed. A medium tier solar system with cheap quality parts and good labor or good quality parts and cheaper labor will cost around $600 to $700 per kilowatt of solar installed. A good quality solar system with good quality parts and good quality labor will cost around $900 to $1,100 per kilowatt of solar installed. Lastly, a premium quality solar system with premium quality components and top quality labor will cost around $1,200 to $1,500 per kilowatt of solar installed. You know what though, just speak to us. Tejo is an energy broker who works by connecting consumers with the best possible solar businesses. We speak with you to understand your exact needs, take them to market and return three options. We then provide you with an unbiased opinion on each solution to ensure you get the best deal, not necessarily the cheapest and easiest to flog. Give us a call on 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.taho.com.au. Now you know everything about the cost of cheap solar, have a think and ask yourself, is it really worth it? I'm David Green from Taho, 
Thanks for watching.